But how we select our gear today is gonna be something I've never done on my channel before. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. It's gonna be close. <laughs> Where are You're they? You're not gonna find it in time. 30 <laughs> seconds, Norm. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, he oh, definitely ate no. it. Norm might actually be cursed. Oh, oh my gosh, there's an alligator right in front of me. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Got Fishing with Norm back on the channel. Hello. Nice uh, Guggen little shirt right there. Are you a T-shirt you. T-shirt of the Month Club member? I am a T-shirt of the Month Club member. Oh, I get one shoot. every single month. I see you trying to flex on me over there. Yeah, I'm I see not you even, looking good. I'm not even a member. Been on the Guggen really? team for four years. Yeah, not a member. It's all good, though. You guys may notice a couple things behind me and old Normie. So right up there somewhere, you got Bass Pro Shops. And right back here, we've got the boat that I bought Norm. If you guys missed that whole experience, this will catch you up. Oh! Oh, Joe, my boat's in the highway! I knew! Oh, <laughs> we, wrecked, no! we wrecked the new boat! Let's freaking go! Fish in the new boat! Got him! No Got him. way! He's on! He's on! He's on! Go, let's, go. let's go! Now, Norm, let me ask you a personal question, okay? You've had this oh, boat snap. for two weeks. Yes. What have you done no, with it? Nothing. <laughs> nothing I was <laughs> I about knew to that say. question was <laughs> Dude, I have been very busy, all okay? Right? Yeah, I know. I have, um... I don't know what I've done. You've been to Guggen Week, you've been filming a ton, me and you That's have been filming right, yeah. with, with each other a ton, but you're gonna be using the boat on your channel some though in the future, right? For yes. sure? Okay, so make sure you guys go check out his channel when you get done with this video so you don't miss any of that content. But today, Norm, we're gonna be using Norm's boat, but before we do that, we gotta go in Bass Pro. We're gonna have to do a few things. We're gonna have to pick up some lures, maybe okay. a combo, you know, just some general fishing stuff. But how we select our gear today is gonna be something I've never done on my channel before. There will be a roulette wheel involved. Okay. There will be a no budget aspect of this I involved, like which I know you I perk like up every time I say I like that. No limits. <laughs> There's gonna be random number generators, color generators, guess my lures. Oh my goodness. Just kidding, not all those things, but some of those things. If you guys end up enjoying today's video or this style of video, make sure you're smashing the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Enable that bell notification. That way you guys don't miss an upload. Let's get inside. We'll get the rest of the rules out there. Let's go. Now to start the first phase of today's challenge, we're going to have to equip ourselves with a rod, correct? Yes, you never want to be seen without a rod. Exactly right. So in my hands, I have a roulette wheel ready to spin. Now, you see the old oh, rod wheel? Snap. Okay. Check out the rod wheel, people. This is going to help us select at least our brand. Like, like I said, there's gonna be no budget, so basically you're gonna spin this thing, whatever brand it lands on, you do have to be faithful to that brand, but you can pick any one that you want. Now you're the guest, I'm gonna let oh you spin gosh. first. I like for your uh, For your ride. Oh wait, what are the options? Read the options real Okay, quick. so we have G. Loomis, Abu Garcia, Bass Pro Ooh. brand, which is just uh, whatever. Bass Pro brand, yeah, I don't even know what they call it. Lose and duck it. So, so five really good options right there. Yeah, yeah. and oh. I think every single one could be kind of expensive too. Like right. In the video we filmed here, we found out the Bass Pro rod was actually the most expensive right. rod in the store. That's so. right. And that was a while ago, so they might have some different options here. So yeah. But whenever we'll you're ready, let's spin that bad boy. It's spinning. Oh what do you all? Oh, I kind of oh, want G oh. Loomis. Oh, lose! Oh, oh wait! Bass Pro. It, oh, it's right on the line. Oh, I got lose. lose by a quarter of a centimeter. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, good luck finding lose. I haven't even yeah. seen much. I don't lose even know if they have here. lose rods in here, period. Well, that's gonna be interesting, uh, stand by. <laughs> oh, dude, they do have loose rods. Oh, wow, you found one really fast. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> that's good. Uh, I think that might be the only loose rod in here, though. Dude, no I'm gonna way. keep looking, but I'm happy because it's $160, and I wanna spend all of your money. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna spend all this money. I'm making my mission. We already know that Lojo one day is gonna buy me a house, so we're just working up to that at the light goal. All right, so this is a long rod. I kinda want a long one. Okay, we all do. Continue. Seven six medium heavy fast action lose custom speed stick. This is hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. Um, the Magnum pricey. Bass Rod three. Well, how does it feel? I mean, in your hands. What are you thinking? Are you gonna do the old fisherman things? Oh, You're yeah, gonna like so wiggle that. the thing and. Yeah, there you go. Uh huh. Oh, I don't know if I like the way she's jiggling. Okay. Everything's better with a longer rod as long as you can use it. As long as you can work the rod right. Life advice, kids. Oh. I think I'm gonna go with the seven six. Medium heavy, uh, because last time we did this, I got a moderate rod and I missed like so many fish because I couldn't get them out of the structure. 
And the spot we're going to today has absolute giants. I've never put a boat in there before. I don't know, I think I need a big rod. All right, my turn. By the way, we would have Guggenrods on here, but uh, they don't have Guggenrods in this particular Bass Pro, so it's just not an option. I'm gonna spin, dude, I don't know, Duckett would be good, G. Loomis would be good. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, you're right in between the two. Let's go, duck it, baby. I like it. Okay, you could do a lot worse than duck it, but how much was yours, 169? Mine was one, I think 159 or 169, yeah. Okay, all right, interesting. All right, Norm, I'm not seeing much duck it here. Um, oh, wait, here we are right here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, dude, there's actually a bunch. There's dude. multiple. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen these? Dude, I have. Oh my I've gosh. I wanted one. They, I will give it a dug it. They make some pretty cool looking rods. Dude, the purple insight? This is this has got to be new. Cause I, I don't I've never seen this one before. Dude, I'm gonna have to do this. Now what kind is this though? This is a seven foot three medium heavy. That's actually gonna be perfect right there. $159.99, so $10 cheaper than norm. But I gotta be honest, this, to me, like, I'm gonna choose this over that any day of the week. Yeah, dude, that does you know look I mean? pretty cool, too. Right. Just on based on looks alone? Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be a tough one to take on right there, but, I mean, they're almost like identical length and action. At least that part's gonna be kind of fair, I guess you could yeah. say. But, dude, I am really pumped that I found this rod. 7'3", medium heavy, it's gonna be good for everything. All right, let's move on to the reel. All right, so now we've got the real wheel up, booted up here. And would you like to uh, read the options yes. to our kind viewers? So we have the Bass Pro brand, Abu, Garcia, Shimano, Daiwa, and Luz. Dude, so I think, like, I couldn't think of any more, like, bass fishing high-end options that are gonna be at Bass Pro than those five right there. So yeah, you definitely want five. Shimano. What would be your second choice that you'd want? Maybe Bass Pro? <gasps> dude, maybe I think, dude, I'm gonna go with a Daiwa. Ooh. Ooh, I don't. I never okay. like looked to see okay. if they have expensive Daiwas. Basically, yeah. which is whatever is the most expensive is probably going to be the best. You think, right? I mean, that's how it's supposed to work. So. Okay. Send it. Oh, I'm spinning, dude. I hope for you that this doesn't <laughs> land on Shimano. Hey, it lands where it lands. Come on, baby. <laughs> Give me that uh -oh. Shimano. Where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Come on, Shimano. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. It's gonna be close. No, <laughs> it's are dead you center on Shimano. Dude, how yes. are you gonna say it as a joke and then the wheel is just like, wha-bam, Shimano. Yeah, dude, okay. the wheel All knows right. me so well. Well, here, here's the thing. One thing we haven't explained is exactly like how this challenge is gonna work because we're gonna explain that after the combos are picked out. See, what Norm doesn't know yet are all the details to this. So you just keep on spinning as much as you want to. That Because there is a twist to this, so. That sounds to me <laughs> like you want me to rethink buying the most expensive reel right now because I landed on Shimano. But um, I know there's no way where I don't walk away with the Shimano. Okay. So I'm right. going to get the most expensive one. I think you should. I think you should go with what you feel. See, because you're saying I think I should, which <laughs> means you're hoping that I won't do it, which means I should do it. Reverse psychiatry. Dude, I don't even shop. Like, let me show you guys real quick. When, lo when we're in Lojo's video, we don't shop on the, the typical reel rack. You know, you this is not where you go to find reels. They put these here uh, for people who aren't in Lojo's videos. This is like for everybody. Um, it, when I'm by myself, this is probably where I go. But when we're in Lojo's video, I'll show you guys where we get our reels. He's got a hidden spot that nobody knows about. Look at this garbage. It's right down here. <laughs> so we have the Shibano Kronark 150 HG. Do not like that reel at all. Yeah, we, we've talked about this in, in previous videos. We won't continue to rail on this one reel, but me and him both own them and we just, no, we're not a fan, so. Not worth it. But what is worth it is the Shimano Corrado DC 150 yeah. HG. The Seven Corrado, four to one gear ratio. The Corrado Perfect. DC is worth it literally every time. Yes. Is that fair to say? That's fair to say. It's, it's literally worth it every single time. Even at 260 bucks, it's still definitely worth it. Whenever Lojo films, we have to have an employee to get it out of the case. Yeah, we'll have to get but. somebody out of the case. We'll have to get somebody to get it out of the case for us. In the meantime, it's time for me to spin. Is there anything you're hoping for? Like well, what? I mean, of course, I mean, Shimano is my favorite, what I use all the time, but I wouldn't yeah. be opposed to like a, a Abu or a Bass Pro, just something like different. I don't know, let's see. Let's spin this bad boy. All right, here we go, Norm. Let's go, let's do this. Oh, 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 lose. lose? Oh my gosh. Oh man, we got a lose rod, a lose reel, a ducket rod, and then a Shimano reel. We have got some yes. variety here, okay, so. All right, let me go see what they've got in that department. I should know a <laughs> thing or two about Lou's. I did work with them for like three years. It's been a while since I've seen their new inventory, so I'm not really sure what they've got these days. All right, so folks, there's a ton of Lou's reels here. Actually, there's like there's like 15 right here. I'm not gonna go with the most, the most expensive that I see is this one right here, but it's the white, the inshore reel, and I just don't really, I don't think that really flows with the vibe of my combo. You know, we've got purple. I think purple and blue is not gonna quite look right, but if we take a more traditional approach, whoo bam the $200 Lou's Tourney Pro. Not Tournament Pro, Norm. The Tourney, the Tourney Pro. Pro. That's it's, right. 
hip. It's That's hip. what the kids are saying. It's what nowadays. the kids exactly right. This is definitely a new reel. They didn't have this one when I was working with them, so I have no idea about this reel at all. Yeah, that is an expensive I mean, reel too, man. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. That's pretty hefty price tag. So I'm hoping this thing is at least decent. We'll see. It looks good. It's got the gold accents on it. It's got the little grippy things, which I think are kind of unnecessary, but it's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Carbon fiber is still like the same thing. It's one of those pieces that they add to reels to like kind of jack up the price or like reduce the weight but i don't really see the, the benefit yeah, that a, much it's just a flex. so i think that's going to be my reel right there and already we have built these combos to be like over like what 400 dollars a piece already like, yeah with tax they're over 400 oh like my gosh 160 yeah. and 200 oh yeah mine's over 400 without tax my bad. okay well that's good because uh the twist to this whole thing is uh, about to put everything in perspective so we're gonna do lures here in just a second as well, but we might as well get this one little rule kind of out of the way here. So with these combos, Norm, that we've kind of like randomly had to pick, we're going to have to purchase our own combos for this challenge. So you are gonna have to pay, Oh! but whoever catches the biggest fish today in this tournament, in your new boat that I got you, whoever yes. catches the biggest fish today, we're gonna have a scale and everything, big time. Yep, we, YouTube we have a scale, moves. pliers, we have a scale. and scissors. Oh, shoot. We have the whole package. We got pliers too? Okay, yeah, so whoever's <laughs> gonna catch the biggest fish today is going to take home everything. So uh -oh, you so better be bringing it today, my friend. Oh, I'm bringing it. All right, folks, we've got the bait wheel right here, okay? This is going to help guide us on our bait selection. So we're gonna be able to spin this wheel three times, Norm, okay? Okay. We've got Bass Pro Shop brand, Z-Man, Strike King, Guggen Baits, and Zoom, okay? So pretty like much, it. it covers a lot of territory. There's obviously a ton more brands out there, but these are the five we're gonna go with today. Now, here's the catch. I want this to kind of speed up a little bit at this point. So I'm gonna let you spin this wheel three times in a row, okay? And then each brand that you get, let's say you get Bass Pro, Z-Man, and Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Then you're going to have 60 seconds to go get your three lures. Okay. So we're not going to have time to sit there and strategize about this or that. It's just going to be a speed thing. And if you okay. don't finish in your 60 seconds, then you just get what you get. Okay. Gotcha. So if you're ready, so why don't I, you go ahead. So and, I spin the wheel three times and then I go. Yeah. Go ahead and get okay. your brands. That way you know the brands that you're looking for. I and gotcha. then go get them. All, All right. right. Brand number one. Brand number one. Let's see it. We got, okay. Zoom. Zoom. Okay. Zoom is brand number one. All right. Spin it again. I don't like you getting Zoom like that right out of the gate. And Guggen Bates. And I got Guggen Bates. Dang it. <laughs> Come on, Zoom, Leo. Help me. Guggen Bates and. Dude, you're building like a monster God. super team right now. And Strike, and Strike King. King. Holy right. moly. So, okay, all right, so, so the time starts when? Okay, hold on. I'm going <laughs> to. Don't so you wait, worry, friend. I've hold zoomed, on. I've Zoom, Strike King, and Guggen Bates, right? Zoom, Strike Zoom, King, Strike Guggen, Guggen Bates. Oh, goodness. Okay, I've got the stopwatch Zoom. right here, folks. Strike I'm King. about to hit the start. Guggen Bates. Are you ready? In yes. three, two, one, go. All right, boom. All right, so we're gonna start with Guggen Bates. They're actually on sale for four nineteen. So I'm gonna do nothing. Nobody else makes something like a bandito bug, especially not. I don't think Zoom or Strike King. So I'm gonna go green pumpkin purple. Purple scientifically gets more strikes than any other color. So purple is key. Oh, uh, Zoom. Zoom, zoom. zoom um, yeah. But what kind of zoom? Dude, I know what I want. I know what I want. I don't know oh where it goodness. is. Dang it! I know what you want too. Where are You're they? You're not gonna find it in time. Thirty dude, seconds, Norm. 30 dude, seconds. come on! I used to buy them all the time oh, from here. I know what he's looking for. Dude, come on, dude! No, this is not cool, man. Where do they, dude? Oh, I found him! I found him! All right. Oh, <laughs> oh. Dang it! Speedworm? Did yeah, you Speedworm, California 420 color. How much you time? Got do I got 15 seconds, Norm. 15 seconds. Oh, there's people. Oh. <laughs> what, what is your last name? It's Strike King. I know what I want too. Gosh dang it! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Dude, oh, okay, right here, right here. I got it. I got it. I got it. In five seconds. You got that in 59 seconds, my friend. That was pretty impressive. So let's give us a quick recap here. What do you got? And okay. Why? So where we're going? Hopeful tip too. If you get a brand that has like a rattle trap type lure, right? Rattle traps have been good for me. Speed worms, you can work it's them top, your, middle, bottom. That's your my OG. favorite lure of that's all time. That's your OG favorite lure. Like as soon I, as I, I saw Zoom, that. I knew I was going to get this. I, I knew you were going to get that as soon as, and I was like, no, because speed worms <laughs> kill in Florida, which is where we are. So yeah, they're great. Yeah, I'm at a disadvantage already. And the bandito bugs, man, you can't get wrong with the number one seller of all time. That's from Guggen Bates, the bandito bug. Ooh, so. dude, that was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be, but that, that was really exciting. And now I am extremely nervous with what he's got to fish with. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to do something here. All right, so I'm gonna start with my, oh, easy there. Don't worry about it. Lure number one for me. I kinda, I am just so nervous right now with what you got going on. You got okay. Z-Man. Z-Man, okay, I think we all know where we're going on that <laughs> one. 
So we got Z-Man. Bass Pro. Okay. So we got like literally we one of everything. We were getting some variety here, dude. Okay, gosh. Okay, Z-Man, Bass Pro. Now this has got to be a repeat. One more spin. One more. Come on, give me something here. I need something. Yeah. Oh, you got Gugan. There Gugan. you go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hand off the clock to you. So we've got, just to recap, I got Z-Man, Bass Pro, and Gugan, right? Yes. Z-Man, Bass Pro, Gugan. That's really hard for some reason to remember those three. Yeah, and you need to give me that clock now because yeah, I don't want I you am. strategizing. Okay, give me a three, three two, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where Z-Man is, dude. I've never even seen Z-Man. I, I know exactly where it okay, is. Okay, I know where it is too, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get my Guggen bait out of the way. I didn't get a Guggen bait, did I? I got yeah, a Bass no, Pro. You, you I got, did? Yeah, yeah okay. Guggen Bass Pro Z-Man. Okay, I'm gonna kind of do different than normal. I'm gonna do a little crawl right here. Um, Z-Man, Z-Man. There's some Z-Man, but that's not what I need. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Excuse me, boss. Oh, yeah, did you see the Z-Man? <laughs> Okay, uh, chatterbait. Got to do that, right? What was my last lure, Norm? Uh, what was? No. Uh, what? Bass Pro. Bass Pro. Bass Pro. Okay. How much time do I have, by the way? You have uh, 25 seconds. Okay, I got a little bit of time here. Um, where did we start it? I know. I'm trying to think about what. Uh... He doesn't know. Wait, where we started? <laughs> yeah. Where do we start? Where's your rod hanging out right now? Right there. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. That's a good point. I was. How much time do I have? You have nine seconds. Oh my god, okay. All right, um, where's my purple? Where's some purple at? Does anybody see purple? Yeah, I see purple. You got two seconds. Just grab something. God. <laughs> oh, where was the purple? Oh, uh, there's, I think it was, oh no, that's like blue. I lied. Okay, that's fine. Oh my oh, god. Look, there's green and purple right here. That would have been Dang awesome. it. I was looking for it. Okay, so. Whew, I ended up with the Guggenbait Crack and Crawl. Of course, the Chatterbait. As soon as I saw Z-Man, everybody in the world yeah. knew, okay, Chatterbait. Got to get a moving bait in there. Especially if he's throwing a lipless crankbait out there, if they're munching like some type of a moving bait, I'm going to need to have that. Yeah. And then some stick baits from Bass Pro, because I feel like if I can't get a bite on anything, I could get a bite on a stick bait. But I wanted some purple, which sucks that I did not find any purple. Whew, let's catch our breath. All right, folks, we're gonna have to get our reels out of the cases here in just a second, but we've got all of our stuff. We're gonna check out, kind of see what the total was because we've gotta be close to a G. If we haven't spent $1,000, <laughs> we're not doing it I like it how right. you said a G. We're close to a stack. <laughs> I man. mean, we've gotta be. I mean, I'm, I'm betting we're right there on it, but we're gonna get everything else that we need for this challenge. We're gonna head out to the water. And remember guys, winner take all. So all this stuff we're holding right now, plus the reels are all gonna be up for grabs. The biggest fish by weight, right? We've got a scale, yep. so it's gonna be official. We will see you guys at the water. All right, send us off there, Normie. All right, here she goes. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been waiting to get back in your new boat, man. I know, man. It I've... looks brand new, doesn't it, with how I've treated it? <laughs> I already know, I'm predicting the comments. Norm doesn't appreciate you guys just <laughs> wait. Yeah, I wanna hear it, guys. Norm just let our boat just get trashed. Dude, it's not my fault, man, all right? We don't have a paddle, so we're really relying hard on this battery we just bought from Bass Pro. That's very true. And I don't even know if it's gonna work. Oh, she works. All right. Chop it up. All right, folks, we're here. We're launched in the new boat. We've got both combos rigged up. You guys will see more of those as we fish. But the challenge starts right now. Oh, snap. All right, yeah, so I'm starting with the, uh, the lipless crankbait. We figured, you know, we'll start with moving baits, find the fish, because I've never fished this lake before from a boat. So try to find them first, then maybe slow down a little bit later. You need something? Crawl. Yeah, crawl? Man. I'm going to use a crawl. It's kind of like a makeshift trailer here. Good idea. I really want to fish this right bank and by those trees because that's like where bank fishermen fish the least they fish here a lot and they fish on that grass ledge but they never like there's two houses that get really mad at people for walking their backyards on the right yeah so nobody ever walks over here oh i got one already those no, cats do not yes i do oh, oh my god it was like a three pounder that was a three pounder and that almost flew into my back <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sitting here talking. I was not expecting to get bit. I was just thinking about the day. Bro, what just happened? First oh cast, probably. Yeah, that, that had to be like a three pounder. You were just casting out in the middle of nowhere, too, weren't you? Yeah, no, oh no strat, man. I'm just going to start with the old chatterbait, guys. Pretty much the same philosophy as Norm, just like moving bait. It's kind of overcast. Who knows? And I just cut like a crack and crawl one of the things off and leave the, leave the other claw for like a swimming trailer type deal. And just to give it some more weight, I should probably set my brakes instead of just casting like a big dum-dum there we go 
That seemed like a $200 real cast right there. Guys, why Norma's fishing in the back, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool from our video sponsor, and that is Deeper. As you guys can see right here, we got the old orb right here, the orb of destiny. Got her attached to the front end of uh, Norm's boat. And we got the Garmin Electronics, but we didn't even hook her up because we don't need her today, Norm. We got something even cooler. I'm gonna put this thing down in the water like so, just to where she's just kind of resting there. Then I'm gonna pull out my phone. I'm gonna launch the app. And guys, boom, just like that, we are graphing, okay? On our phone, we can, you can see the hump that we just came off of. So we just came off of the bank. You can see that contour right here. You can even see all the bait, dude. There was so much bait under us just now, man. Really? Like right when we came off that ledge. And That's there's- and there's useful and, information. Like dude, I, I, yeah, I, you don't seriously, know. You, you don't know that. And there's right there, you see that? That's probably like a suspended bass out there in the middle of nowhere by himself on those bait right there. You see that? That's crazy. That's probably one of the bass that Norm just hooked. Guys, there are so many things you can do with this deeper Pro Plus 2 smart sonar. You can map the lake, which is what we're doing right now. You can see water temp, you can see water depth. There are different types of scanning modes. And if all that wasn't good enough, Norm, I'm gonna take my old rod right here that's actually not in the competition, but just to kind of show you guys some of the cool equipment that our folks have at Deeper. And boom, folks, that's right. We're fishing now with the smart sonar on our rod. So if I'm sitting here and I'm working a particular school of bait right underneath the boat, I've got hands-free GPS and sonar right in front of me. So I'm just sitting here, just drop shot my little heart out, right? I'm just checking. Oh yeah, he's still there, checking. Shablaw! That's how it works. We've already tested it. Your phone will not come off because that was my number one concern. They thought about it, it's good to go. Guys, if you want to check out this particular product or anything else from Deeper, click the link right at the top of the description. Love this company. Been working with them for years. They make great equipment for the pond fishermen like us. But this stuff works not only for pond fishing, but river, creek, from the bank. You can tie this thing up to a rod and reel, cast it out, and do the same thing I'm doing right now. So versatile, guys. Definitely check them out. Now, let's get back to the competition. I'm a tying a, I'm already tying on a soft plastic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, but they're chasing, man. Dude, and you got time. dude, this is a competition. I'm telling you right now, when I have this like weird gut feeling, even if it doesn't make sense, I always go with my gut while I'm fishing. Okay, I got you. And I got a gut feeling that this, where is it? The speed worm is gonna be the move. The moment you got that in your cart, I was like, dang it. Did we bring any terminal tackle out here? No, not at all. But we got Andrew right there. I don't wish I was going to spin our bait with my... Oh my gosh, there's an alligator right in front of me. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, he's, he funds in so I mean, good. He's tiny, but those little ones are the ones you got to watch out for, man. They just like... They don't care. They don't care. Dude, look how he's sitting. His body is like perfectly vertical under the water. Like, you know, normally they sit like parallel to the water. He, his yeah. body's just like hanging down in like his head. Up in the water. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what he's... He's like a kid in the pool. Right there, guys. I don't know if y'all can see it because it's a, it's a pretty small alligator, but... Eve, we're just gonna roll right up on him, I guess. My captain back there is just like, yeah, you deal with that alligator. Yep, I'm putting you right on him. Dude, the closer we get to the bank, the more I realize that you might be smart putting on that Texas rig. I mean, it's like super calm over here. And I, if there's fish here, I don't know like Dude, It's hard much... to see, but you can see a couple branches coming out. Yeah. It is like a branch field down there. Like it's very oh, easy right. to get snagged, but there's obviously the bass love it. They go eat craws and stuff out of there all the time. So I thought the bandito bug would be perfect for this little stretch. I want to feed a fish with my lure. You hungry little fella? Shabla! Hooks out of your face. Oh, I'm in the tree. Come on. Where are you going? Yep. Is it good? Oh, dude, it feels oh, okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> Let's freaking go to start us yeah, off. Slow oh, my God. He crushed the chatterbait. The dude, chatterbait crawfish fun. trailer. Oh, I'm bringing him to <laughs> you, Norm. No, I'm going to bring him to you. I'm gonna test out the, the tensile strength of this new rod. Oh, dude, I will tensile strength! Oh, that is a chunk. You tip me right in the eye. Let's freaking go. Did I tip you? Yeah, I am so dude, sorry, hard, buddy. Though. Let me push my button. Oh, yeah. That's the way you wanna start the challenge right That's there. A nice one. That's how you wanna start the challenge right there, baby. Yes. Ooh, all dude, right. Awesome. Dude, would you uh, scale me, please? Yes, sir. Dude, right in the top of the mouth. Dude, look at that eat right there. Holy <laughs> smokes. My man got hooked through the through the lip all the way. Oh, chatterbait, baby, for the win. What do you think? Solid three pounder and some yeah, change? Yeah, I'm saying three, three. 
Okay, three, three. Yeah, that's probably about right. Oh man, you're a good guesser, Norm. Three, three, are you, 3.28. It was on three, three for a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 3.3 pounds, 3.28, excuse me, is now the mark to beat. And I have a feeling it's gonna get beaten because you were tight on one about this size probably yeah. or bigger. And I just got tight on the chatterbait. Beautiful fish. Let's let her go. She's probably ready. Yep, she was. Dude, nice Ooh, one. Let's man, <laughs> on the new combo. I'm not gonna lie, that rod took that boat flip like a champ. I think I could have boat flipped like a five or a six right there maybe and, and been able to do it. On a medium heavy rod, that ain't bad. Hey, we'll see. We might have the opportunity to boat flip a five or six. You never know. Oh man. All right, folks, 3.28 mark to beat. Norm better get in the game. This is gonna be an expensive video for you, my friend, if you don't win. We did spend over a thousand dollars, by the way, yeah. with everything. So this is going to be a big L for somebody. Oh, I'm here to win. Oh! That. Guys, check out the custom rig here. That's what I'm throwing. So I bit off a section of it right there, and then I took off one of the claws, and then I'm hooking it like so. Yep. Just feeding her on there like that, leaving that claw exposed, and it just becomes literally like a paddling tail coming through the water. So it's a makeshift trailer, but in, if you're in a situation like this, that might be all you need. Dude, he smoked it. When I say he clobbered it, like he yeah. clobbered it. It was authority? 100%. I think I was like right over the top of some structure too. Cause I want to say I like, I ticked off of a tree right before that bite. So like you said, I bet you he's sitting right at the base of one of those trees Yeah. and a little white and green creature just came knocking around in there. He had no option. He had no option. Oh, I got one. Oh dude, I never said the drag on my new reel. Oh, Dang it. Dude, I do that every time. Dude, that was a big one too. So it slipped? Yes. I said the hook and never, never oh. put the hook into him. Dude, Dude, that was a big one too. Dang, man. He might bite it again. I never hooked him. That's true. Oh, that was a beautiful cast. Kablunk. Yeah, at some point in time during this competition, me and you will switch and I'll do some motor operating just so we have an equal amount of time on the front deck. Don't want to have any advantage over you, Norm. Want to keep this nice and clean, clean fight. Yeah, I gotta say the combo, I'm feeling pretty good about my combo. How are you feeling about your combo now that you've cast it 100 times? I like it, man. It's just the hookup ratio. You know, I think it's the rod's fault. <laughs> no, but the, dude, this handle is like ridiculously long. I guess I could have looked at that before I bought it, but I don't like the way it sits in my hand. I don't like, don't like the feel of the rod. I like the reel. See, I like my rod better than my reel. If we put my rod with your reel, we would have a winning combination, I think. Like this is where I want to be. Got him. Got him. Yep. Oh, he's <laughs> no upgrade, but I was just saying, man, this looks like a good spot. Looks like we're, oh, he came off. That's okay. Didn't, didn't really need that one anyways, but oh gosh, tore up another crack and crawl. That sucker. No one well, no, the chatterbait's kind of putting in work, yes, my friend. You got me thinking. And we just like kind of figured out, not really the pattern, but kind of figured out uh, what the fish are maybe going for here kind of that four or five foot water range as opposed to the two to three, it's a little bit too shallow. Man, I am feeling confident right now. That was cool. You like that? I'll, I could never do that again, but let me try. I'm trying to get underneath this tree. Nope. <laughs> That was the smoothest skip I've ever done in my life. Please, Andrew, replay that right now. Yeah, that was some professional like professional that. fishing right there. I'll never do it again. Like that, that was my one shot right there. All right, I think I'm gonna run us to the other side of the bank. Let's do it. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch, man. Let's go ahead and switch. It's only fair. I'm in the lead. It puts whoever is in the front of the boat in a better position. You know, you're not having to worry about stuff, so. I'm All gonna right. take over the motor until you, if you reclaim the lead and there's still time left, then, then we'll, switch, then we'll again. switch again. Yeah. So let's figure out this. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm gonna go low. You go high. Okay. You've got full giraffe balance. Oh. You got brute rhino. Butt. I'm up here. Yeah. See. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, so you think zooming across the lake then? Yeah. So at least touch my bank fisherman. Got I mean, you fish over there if you'll see. Dude, we are ripping. <laughs> I forgot how fast this dang boat is. It's literally like my big motor, like slightly above idled. Yeah. 
Like we're creating a wake right now, that's a fact. All right, folks, we are uh, pretty much, I don't know, like halfway through Norm, pretty much. We didn't really set a time limit or anything. I'm just kind of guesstimating light and stuff. We've got a couple hours left, but uh, right now, I have a very firm lead. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, Norm's confidence right now is just shattered. Shh, don't tell him, but he's not doing very well mentally right now. So yeah, I almost hope he I'm catches a fish. Right now, he's too. in a treat by point exactly. So I almost want him to catch a fish just to get him out of his slump. Halfway point. <laughs> Tungsten's flying, $1,000 combos up for grabs. What's gonna happen next? Also, folks, you guys should know by now that what I tend to do with challenges like this is give away some of the items throughout the summer. That's what's what I wanna do anyways. So, you know, Norm's combo, my combo, these things are gonna be given away on this channel. So that's an even better reason to be subscribed to this channel and subscribe to Norm's as well. He's gonna be giving stuff away this summer. So just a reminder, folks, always best to be subscribed with the bell notification enabled. And then on your phone, Norm, you also have to allow YouTube notifications on your phone as well. I know so it's like seven steps. It's a seven step <laughs> process. So I apologize about that, but I didn't design the dang system. If it was up to me, you just push the subscribe button and you're good to go. But yeah, so. Make sure you're subscribed. See if I can hit him with it. See if I can call my shot. I am in the pine tree. What a shot. Well, while you're doing that, let me just see what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he definitely oh, ate no it. Way. Dude, you called that, dude. dude I'm so oh, mad at my God. <laughs> Norm literally just called that bass and he didn't even catch it. Oh, my God, dude. You might be cursed, my guy. You, you might be like, Norm might actually be cursed. Like that, th this might be a real thing on my channel. Dude, Bro, the, the this is, I mean, video, dude, I skunked in your you challenge did. like the you first did. time ever I skunked I know. in a video. Well, to make you feel any better, it wouldn't have won anything. If this is the one yeah. you saw, it may not have been the same one. But my bait landed, guys. My bait landed, and he swirled and just turned right around and ate it. I didn't even have a chance to work him, so. Not going to give me any more of a lead, but at least in a tiebreaker scenario, I've got two fish now. So, see you, buddy. Chatterbait is continuing to just put in work and Norm's mental status is hanging fragilely in the balance here. Not even sure if that's a word, but the man is fragile right now. I'm debating a career change as we speak. Oh, I'm getting bit. No way. Dude! Got him, got him, I thought he came off. Dude, I'm like wrapped around something on my rod. <laughs> what is going on? on yeah! Oh, no, uh, right out the other side. Dude, look at my man Norm just hanging the fish out to dry. Dude, I, I gotta help it, my line is wrapped around my rod like 50 How did you do that? My worm is sitting there. Hooking my ankle. Dude, what is going on up here? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> We're putting her on the scale, this might be three. Yeah, do it. Scaler. Scales. You never know until you check. For, let's guess first, see how good our guessing skills is. That's like, that's like 0. 0.8 bass right that's there. That's like 0. 0.96. Yeah. 0. 0.84. You see Dang guys, it. we know how to guess. Everybody says we're bad at guessing, but we know how to, we know how big these are. We know how are. they are. I mean, do we exaggerate from time to time? Maybe. No. <laughs> we know. Feels good. I'm happy I landed that thing. I should not, dude, my line was wrapped around the tip like 15 times and then he started biting and i was like yeah of course you'd bite right now when i'm in the biggest trouble of my life yeah i'm actually really relieved that you did in fact catch that fish just for the simple fact that your mental health is now protected yeah i might keep making youtube videos yeah you won't retire today at least oh dude that, that was, was big in norm. Two, dude your line was taken that off. was a big one I, I i set the hook on him and he immediately pulled me like away yeah, and dude. tried to I hate because people are gonna say we whenever we miss when we say it's a big end, but I no, just, they, they I don't want all you to know like how big the yeah. fish are in here. They're just so hard to get to bite, but that well, and they don't like little fish don't feel like that. Like that's yeah. not how they they don't make that noise. You hear that noise like with the, the, everything yeah. straining like that doesn't happen every time. We'll just be thinking on it because if we go. To oh, I got a fish! Whoa. No way! I stopped reeling. Are you kidding me, bro? Hard. I stopped reeling. My man choked it, dude. It is down his throat. Come wow. here, buddy. Look at how he ate that. Oh my lord. That dude ate it so freaking good. Freaking chatterbait strikes again. Are you in the tree again? I am, dude. Oh I'm my even close to the water. I don't know what is going on with me today. Norm is in a fragile state still. 
We're catching fish. That's number three. Oh, wow. We're still in gear. I forgot about that. Ooh, I kept my claw this time too. So I'm in really good shape. All right, folks. I went ahead and switched to the Texas rig as well because it has just gotten like crazy calm out here. And we've kind of ended up where we started. This little corner right here is where Norm got tight with what we believe was a pretty big fish. But got to figure this bank is just littered with more fish like that. But we are kind of coming down to the wire here. We only have about an hour left of light. So we're going to have to, uh, well, Norm's going to have to kick up the intensity a little bit because right now it's unfortunately been all your boy. Yes! Got him! Let's oh, go! One more fish, baby. There's Just for good, good old time's sake. Oh, that does feel good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. One more fish. I don't know why one more. I guess because that's five, but one more fish feels really good, even though it's it's not quite the right size, my friend. How do we start off with such good fish? We've gone like downhill. Like all the good ones we've How hooked, we've just lost. I cast my worm there and then you cast him behind. It's happened like it, I, five times today. I don't get, I don't get it. Dude, it's just, it's the combo, man. They're digging the purple, digging the ducket, and they're digging the crawl apparently. Maybe the crawl is just the move. Yeah, I have not got Little a unit. Worm yet. Good looking bass. See you later, buddy. Kaplunk. Well, Norm, I just don't know, man. I feel like the light's getting kind of low. I think the uh, the hope for you to take these combos home is just... Uh, Slim to none. Yeah, I, I just... Know. I wasn't going to say it. I just don't know how good it's looking for you I at this point. I knew you trying to be nice, but I accept reality <laughs> that I... It's just not it, man. Yeah. Whenever there's money involved for a challenge or if I have to eat something bad, I just I can't done. pull through. Yeah. If we're fishing for fun... You're yeah, on it. Yeah. I got it, but... Well, at least you still have a sick new boat. Yeah, that, that's true. I got a boat, you know. This combo, I really like the reel, but the rod, I mean, I could. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'd probably throw it away even if I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Oh, my lord. Land ho! Finally. <laughs> Never going fishing again. Take the GoPro. Don't say that, Norm. I'm kidding, don't, guys. Don't mean it. Everybody has their days, and that was one of my days. Well, Norm, look, we know how it ended. Looks yeah. like the old combos are coming home with yours truly. You but go, like man. you said, at least you didn't even like the rods. So, I mean, it's not like it was yeah. a major loss for you. I mean, I'm just more sad about the bandito bugs going home with you, too. Guys, we've done this like three times now where we've wagered like combos. Like I won the first one, then you won the second one. That was the one that we left up to you guys to vote. Yeah. You definitely won that one by a landslide, which is bullshit. <laughs> that was way closer than you guys said it was, okay? But anyways, I'm just saying, you, you may have won, but not by that big of a margin. So then I win this one again. So this is kind of a fun little back, back and forth and thing forth, we got man. going on. But when I lose, I lose hard. It's not even like a competition. Like when I win, I got to earn it because we're right. both right right there. Yeah. But dude, if you like take the lead, I'm <laughs> just over. I'm dead last all day. So, but yeah. next time, according to the pattern, yeah. Uh, it I'm should hoping, be your turn next, exactly. Yeah, I was waiting for at least $2,000 of a budget. Oh, so that's more than in this video. So. Well, there you go. Dude, it was fun, man. It was great to come out here, like you said. Great to get the boat out that we bought for Norm that you guys basically demanded that I do. So, of course, we did it. And we want to hear more ideas from you guys, from us filming together and collabing together as AO as well. I mean, we want to hear from you guys as much as possible. I don't know about you, dude, but a lot of good ideas I get from YouTube are from the comments section. Oh, dude, exactly. It's yeah. what they want to see, and yeah. they know what they want to see. And we're willing to do ow, anything. The money is not a problem no. on Lojo's channel, guys. Don't oh, say it on my channel. I was about to say, Lojo's I don't know. Channel, Lojo said he's willing to spend any amount of money on me for content. So. You heard it here. So drop some expensive ideas down below. Anything that benefits me, um, make sure you thumb those comments up in the comment section. I'll be down there thumbing them up too. Anyways, folks, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button for this collab, hitting the subscribe button, going, checking out Norm's channel, all that good stuff. I'm taking the combos, baby. I'm taking them home. Like I said, probably going to be giving away these reels. I love to do that with these, these giveaways. I got too much fishing gear. You got too much fishing yeah, gear. When much. we buy too much more fishing gear, we're going to try to give it away to you guys as much as possible this summer. So keep on doing all those things that we said. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. We out. I don't want to rate your stupid app. Oh. <laughs> stupid. Now, would you would you uh, make sure that 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 ball is like down in the water? Oh, I'll put my balls in. Make the sure water. my balls are in the water, please.